We, the Youth Fashion Summit Assembly, recalling the 2016 UN Environmental Assembly Resolution and the demands of the 2016 Youth Fashion Summit, insist on making sustainability the primary norm of the fashion industry. This will be achieved by focusing on civic empowerment and education as long-term community investments, reducing pollution, implementing closed-loop systems to preserve resources, and re-evaluating civil and government standards. All members and stakeholders will move towards sustainable patterns while taking into account the well-being of all citizens. Members should facilitate and improve the availability of information, enabling stakeholders and citizens to make informed decisions. We aspire to have strong institutions, peace and justice, clean water and sanitation, responsible innovation and infrastructure for fashion production and consumption, and strive to combat the damage done to society and the environment by the fashion industry. We welcome the United Nations member states to encourage informed consumption. We encourage the United Nations member states and all civil society groups to ensure responsible consumption of fashion products and to eradicate inequality in fashion, from textile production to ownership. We also insist that manufacturers ensure ethical practices in all realms of fashion. This is our framework of the Sustainable Development Goals for all stakeholders, including all governments, all fashion industries, and all consumers. As a commitment to our future, we expect the fashion industry to take immediate action and begin collaborating with non-governmental organizations and governments to achieve great progress by 2030 in alleviating poverty, reducing inequality, and ensuring food security. This would be done through A, reinvesting 0.7% of annual sales revenue to support local communities. B, providing all workers access to free health insurance, daycare facilities, a meal a day, and providing professional training and C, encouraging industry leaders and governments to enforce sustainable agricultural practices, but to, as an end goal to increase the share of organic polyculture farming by 50%. In commitment to our future, we urge all fashion stakeholders to establish global and local partnerships to make the world a more equitable, just and peaceful place. By A, requesting all stakeholders to collaborate in breaking existing barriers between people, companies and member states to enable the flow of sustainable progress. By B, welcoming the UN to develop a full sustainable report by 2020 that provides a holistic evaluation of the industry, um, measuring industry performance not only in relation to monetary value. By C, requiring the UN to facilitate the implementation of a third party organ by 2025 to promote collaboration between stakeholders related to the fashion industry. By D, insisting that all fashion stakeholders fully commit to a standardized performance system by 2025. In commitment to our future, we want to strengthen the human bond from maker to wearer through education and changing the mindset of producers and consumers by 2030. To do so, we require fashion companies to provide transparent information per garment of each step in the supply chain by 2030, and B, demanding factors to all empower workers by prioritizing educational activities on labor rights, personal financial growth, leadership, and working towards representation in 10% collective ownerships. And C, we want to as well uh, provide the UN to establish a uh, online platform that fights against gender inequality with the help of organizations, government and companies. In commitment to our future, we request stakeholders to protect and restore our natural capital by A, 
implement positive, beneficial circular practices throughout the whole value chain by means of replacing conventional crops, reducing textile waste, and dramatically minimizing the use of all virgin plastics in the fashion sector, all thus by 2030. By B, encouraging fashion companies and manufacturers to commit to water stewardship and microplastic elimination programs with transparent and ambitious targets immediately. And C, insisting that brands and governments support producers in halving the use of hazardous chemicals by 2022 and abolishing it by 2030. In commitment to our future, we call the entire fashion industry and the involved member states to lead the global preservation of and access to fresh water by all, for all, by 2025 through A, reducing water pollution and the release of harmful chemicals by 50% in 2025 and by 100% in 2030. B, introducing a closed-loop water recycling legislation on a government level. C, implementing shared value community water management in collaboration with government, NGOs, industry, local communities, as well as stressing the urgency and awareness of these issues through education provided by, provide by member states and the fashion industry. In commitment to our future, we oblige stakeholders to meet the requirements of the Paris Agreement, ensuring that by 2030, 100% of the total energy used in the fashion supply chain will be renewable energy. This will be done by A, inviting all member states to ensure renewable energy practices by encouraging public and private partnerships throughout the fashion supply chain to reach a binding plan agreed upon by 2018. B, requesting that all organizations' energy consumption statistics be published for public access. And C, requiring the entire fashion supply chain to set in place the necessary infrastructure and encourage innovation to reduce energy consumption and increase energy efficiency. In commitment to our future, we appeal to all stakeholders to take responsibility, to collaboratively invest in recycling technology and infrastructure to enable a transition towards circular systems and behavior in fashion. By A, encouraging all member states to adopt already existing technology and infrastructures to collect both and process both citizens and industries textile waste by 2022. And B, investing in a platform to share information, facilities and resources to provide guidelines and tools that can enable a holistic circular system for all stakeholders in the fashion industry by educating them about circular strategies and solutions by 2020. The Sustainable Development Goals are the most ambitious plan in human history. The very nature of the fashion industry is change. Realizing this amb ambitious plan, let's use our enormous creative potential to shift the fashion industry from being a superficial giant into being a giant with a purpose that can benefit 8 billion people by 2030. You need to tell a new story that goes beyond merely being a business. And we need you to do it in a way that includes 8 billion people, from the farmers in Uzbekistan to the shoppers in Copenhagen. We need you not only to listen, we need you to re reflect upon these words and start telling the story. <laughs>